I don't know, like where do I define you? Well hello people of the internet, my name is Kevin and welcome back to another video. Okay guys, so for today's video I am going to finally make a rainbow bookshelf. Now, spoiler alert, I have already done it, like the rainbow is literally right there, I'm looking at it right now. But I forgot to film an intro because I wasn't sure if I was actually going to make this a video. And then I did it and I'm like, you know what, I actually like this so I should probably go ahead with the video because I filmed me when I was doing it but I just didn't film an intro because I didn't think I was going to actually end up liking it so I wouldn't end up posting it. But now I look like a clown because I actually do like how it turned out and I never filmed an intro. So now I'm pretending like I haven't done it. So let's rewind. Okay guys, I'm so excited to finally be making a rainbow bookshelf. I've always wanted to do this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to look really nice in my room when I do it. And I'm just fingers crossed it's gonna go well and that I will successfully do it and I'm gonna really like it. I just really hope that that's what I'm gonna do. We all know I already did it, but that's fine. Sarcasm. So yeah, I actually asked on my Instagram at the weekend or something. I was just like constantly thinking about it. I was like, you know what? I think I'm really in the mood to do a rainbow bookshelf. And since Pride has officially ended, which I'm very sad about, but Pride runs year long. It's not just for one month, but I was like, you know what? I need more rainbow in my life. So I wanted to make a rainbow bookshelf. Asked my Instagram. A lot of you guys said yes to do it. So here we are. We're doing it. I have already done it, like I've already said. But I'm going to cue the footage now where I started to do it. And you can see how it goes. Also at the end, I will do like a little mini bookshelf tour so you guys can like see the shelves because I haven't done one for this year, but my bookshelves haven't changed drastically since the bookshelf tour I did last year. So I didn't feel like there was a need to go in depth again. But I'm gonna do a little brief overview so that you guys can see it. And yeah, without further ado, here's the footage of me making my rainbow bookshelf. And I hope that you guys enjoy. So I think what I'm gonna start off by doing first is one of my followers named Molly told me, because I said on my story obviously like how I was gonna do rainbow bookshelves she told me to make sure you take the books off in terms of the colors as the way you would put them up so i'm gonna start with white as being the first color in the rainbow i know technically red is the first color but i just think in terms of how it would look i think starting with white or then what do i do with gray hold on i need to go figure it out but like i said i'm going to grab each of the books that have that color and put them in stacks so that way, when it comes to putting them back onto the shelf, I just go by the stacks in terms of the colours. You know, I think. That might not have made sense, but in my head, it makes perfect sense. So hopefully you'll have an idea as to what I mean. Okay, I literally just did a quick Google. So I'm going to start with like, grey, then leads into white. Then leading into red, but I think I'll start with like, pinks that then run into red. Then obviously into like, orange, into yellow. Green, blue, purple, and then black books at the end. That's the goal. That's what we're gonna do. Wish me luck. Let's do I really hope this doesn't take too long. But cue the fun background music time lapse clip vlog. Here we go. I lied. Remember I said let's cue the fun music? I just wanted to say really quickly that while that music is playing, I do want you to know I am listening to Sour by Olivia Rodrigo. Of course, Deja Vu representing. We love her. So that's what I'm listening to, just in case you're wondering. Because I'll probably be lip syncing through the clips. You'll know that I'm probably listening to Brutal. I'll probably be in my sad phase, listening to Traitor. All of those vibes. Okay, I'm already kind of running into like some complications because like forget a life Chloe Brown What color do you call this? Like it's kind of like a really really faint Blue-ish white color. So like what color do I? 
Like, does it kind of go for silver? So could it work for grey? Because at the same time, like, I have King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. And actually, now that I'm holding it, this definitely is more blue. Like, a baby blue. I think this, yeah, this isn't silver. But, like, the other ones, like, they're kind of like a, like, this is definitely silver. And then this has, like, a bluey silver. Like, it's on the borderline wick as opposed to King's Cage. Like, King's Cage is, oh, actually, they kind of look. No, this is more blue to me. It's more, I don't know. Like, where do I define you? This is literally like the book all over again because it's like about red-blooded people and silver-blooded people so it's like I can't define which color blood the book covers are. A few moments later. Oh, but then again, like Red Queen I had saved for gray and then when you put these together, like that kind of works like in terms of like white leading into silver. Okay, crisis averted, we found the solution. And then I have Patrick Ness like more than this and I, like this is black and white but like does it work with silver? <laughs> I didn't think I'd have to overthink my colors. See, like, these all together kind of look like all different types of silvers. Apart from Glass Sword, it kind of stands out. Maybe Glass Sword deserves to be with, like, light baby blue kind of vibes. Okay. I feel like more than this should definitely be with in black. So I'm going to leave that for black. These kind of look better as, like, in terms of shades of blue. Because they kind of are silver, but they have, like, hints. Well, King's Cage is definitely more blue. But Glass Sword... Definitely is like silver ish, blue ish. We're just gonna keep rolling with it. Okay, so as you can see. They're looking a bit empty and I have books kind of everywhere and I'm running out of, like I have space but I don't want to be like reaching over things to make it complicated for myself. So I think I'm just going to start doing the grey and white and work with the colours that I have and then eventually I'll be left with ones. You know? I don't know. It's just maybe I just can't be bothered to take the rest of them off and that's probably it to be honest. I'm probably just being lazy. This is the current situation. So that's all my orange. Leads up into yellow. Then greens leading into blue is there. All my whites and then reds are all there. Pink. I kind of just want to start putting them up there. And I'll come to the other ones when I get that far. And yeah. Yeah, we're, we're just going to go with it. Oh my god, so many books just fell over. Okay guys, so it has been about three and a half hours of me doing this. I got very frustrated at one point and I was just like, oh my god, because I'd find a colour that I missed to take out. So if you're ever going to do this, bear in mind that you should probably take out all of the colours individually in your stacks. It might seem tedious, but just do it. Like, I only did it for like the first four colours and then I was like, oh, I'll do the rest whenever. No. That was my mistake. I should have took out all the colours when I had the chance to do it and done it that way. But I'm looking at it now, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think when you get down to like the dark blues and purple, it gets a little bit complicated and I'm sure there's a lot around here I'm going to rearrange and fix. But as of right now, I'm like, yeah, I'm done. It's so hot out, I need to take this off. I just, yeah, I'm done. But I am extremely happy with how it turned out. So I'm gonna show you a before. This is what my bookshelf looked like before I decided to redo it today. And this, is how it looks now. So yeah, that's how my bookshelves look. I'm definitely the most happiest with this little section with like the orange, the greens and the blues. Love her, love her. But I'll give you guys a bit more of a close up now for a little bit of bookshelf tour. So let's do that.
of the traveling kind It's a known fact Yeah, I know that Okay guys, so I think that's going to be it for this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. I know Rainbow bookshelves are not for everyone. I personally really like them, so I'm happy with it. It also just gives me very cool and calming vibes. Apart from the bottom half of the shelf. Like where the colourful ones are, I really love. And like obviously they're going to be the ones at the backdrop of like my commentary videos and stuff. So we stan, love that for me. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And other than that, that is going to be it for this video. And I shall see you all next time in my next one. So goodbye guys. Oh my God, I